Hello, today I'm going to be just doing a bit of a look at an infrared thermometer um, from China. Uh, this one again uh, has come from AliExpress. There's a few different model names, I'll put this particular one in the description below. Uh, this particular one has the batteries, uh, AAAs, held in the handle there. Some of them have uh, 9 volt batteries. Right. You can see here what it come, what it looks like when it's still in the package. Like the uh, previous item I uh, did a look at, this is for a project I'm working on. So, it comes with this little uh, manual. It's pretty brief, uh, just gives you an idea of um, some of the specs and uh, distances you can expect to, to use this. Uh, right, so bearing in mind I just opened it and went for it, um, put the batteries in, pulled the trigger, you can see it pretty much straight away works, showing that the, this table here is uh, 13, 14 centigrade, you can change it to Fahrenheit if that's uh, your preference. You have other options here, you have the ability to turn a backlight on the screen. And it just stays on. Get the button on, you turn it off again. And you can also turn the uh, uh, laser or infrared uh, sight on and off. You can see that that's going there now. Obviously, like any uh, laser pointer device, you wouldn't want to point this in anyone's face when you're using it. Uh, I found this to uh, to be a lot of fun actually um, more than what I would have thought it would be um, just um, just the the sheer range of, of temperature variations you find around you in uh, in your environment you'll find that the floor is colder than the ceiling you can um, point it at your TV or point it at your lights um, you'll find they're all showing uh, you know obviously different temperatures uh, you um, I, I found that um, you can hold the trigger down and move it around and uh, the temperature will, um, it's not showing it here, I'll show it, uh, uh, oh yeah, that was moving, yeah, it's showing there, if you just hold it down, it, um, the temperature does update live as you move it, so this, this could be, um, this could be really handy if you're trying to find a cold spot, um, you know, perhaps in your house if you want to check your insulation's working or, um, you know, um, something like that um, yeah, you see this would be a lot cheaper than one of those um, uh, infrared images um, you could just um, hold this in your hand and it's reasonably accurate um, obviously the greater the distance away the you know the the accuracy drops but I've I've sort of pointed this across the room sort of five meters um, away uh, plus uh, and found it pretty accurate to within the um, where the where the pointer happens to be going. Most of the time, I don't I don't need to use the the pointer, but um, it is it is quite handy. So yeah, um, it's this has really impressed me. Um, I would um, suggest everyone's got one. It's um, much easier than um, sticking a thermometer or whatever in your mouth as well. You can you can point this in your mouth and and measure your temperature or um, in your child's ear or whatever else you you want to do um it actually holds it on the screen after you've um uh, test uh, you know a sample of temperature it'll flick off after a while just like that as you can see so yes um would i recommend this um to buy you yeah, i certainly would um i reckon it's excellent um you can uh, there's all kinds of things you know there's all kinds of purposes you can do to you know, um, if you're working on a car, you can uh, check the temperature of the, the engine. Um, you know, if you're working, if you're doing some transmission work, um, you can point this at the uh, transmission to check that it's the right temperature for for um, for changing the oil. Um, yeah, so uh, fantastic. I thoroughly uh, recommend this. So if you've got any uh, questions about this, um, feel free to, to let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer Thank you.